Tank is fighting a guy by the name of Lamont Roach. Now, Lamont, Lamont Roach is not really a popular dude, but he's he's known well enough to us uh, boxing fans and stuff like that. We knew who Lamont Roach, he made some good noise down there at 130. You know, he's a champion down there at that division. And Tank, Javante Tank Davis will be fighting him in December. And many people don't like that fight and then are not paying for that shit. And I've talked about this on numerous videos. I'm making this because I keep seeing comments on other channels about this is a great fight. That's the, These are the top comments I'm hearing that this is an excellent fight. Um, there's nobody else for one, at 135 for Tank to fight. This is good for the DMV. I'm like, how's it good for the DMV if the fight is not even being held in the DMV? It's being held, what is it? I think it's being held in Texas or some shit like that. So how is that good for the DMV? They're not, it's not like they're holding it in um, one of the arenas in Baltimore or D.C. They're not. And there's plenty, like I said, of fighters for him to fight at 135. You got Kid Austin, ranked number two. You got Keyshawn Davis. You got a lot of dudes that he can that he can fight, bro. And I, another thing, oh, what have Keyshawn and what have Kid Austin done? Okay, well, listen, they've done enough in a division to be ranked. Okay, Lamont Roach is not ranked at 135. What has he done at 135 to deserve a Tank Davis fight over everybody else that's already at 135? That I don't care if they got seven wins. I don't care if they prospects. They still at the division putting in some kind of work. This is definitely a cherry pick. And you can say whatever you want. You can defend it. I don't care if you you can you could slice it, dice it, try to give it to me in different ways. I'm not hearing none of that. All right. So we believe in Tank. We want to see him with these other dudes, man. How long he's almost 30 years old. How long are we gonna have to wait? Before he gets in the ring with a dad or a Shakur. And the funniest thing is, Tank fanboys say Tank will knock out Shakur. Tank will do this to Dev and all this other stuff. All right. So you're telling me that Lamar Roach is a better fighter than Shakur Stevenson? He's a better fighter than Devin Haney? You're not giving your boy no real credit when you okay a fight like this over a Dev or a Shakur or somebody like that. And please stop bringing up Lomachenko. We already know he ducked. Let's leave it alone, okay? We're not talking about Loma no, anymore. He's not a factor, all right? But listen, we know the outcome of this fight. We know it before we even... We don't even need... We don't even, I don't even know why I made a prediction for it, but I did it anyway. But there's always that 0.1% possibility, as we just saw with Bevel and um, Arthur Better BF, that the unthinkable could happen, okay? We might think... Um, we thought Bevel was going to get knocked out and... Better be it was gonna knock him out. Better be it end up winning on the cards. We might think Lamar Roach is gonna get smashed, and he might end up outboxing Tank to the decision, or he might lose to Tank on the cards. That's a strong possibility. I would put that in my bet cycle. I would put that down in the bets. Tank by decision. Never know. The, but the reality of it is, that's not gonna happen. What you see in your thumbnail before you. Is what is going to happen in that fight more than likely? Tank Javante Tank Davis is going to steamroll over this dude and turn him into a dead roach. That's exactly what's going to happen. That is many people's prediction, but the fanboys are are trying to justify it. It's their coping mechanism, so they're going to say that this is a good fight for Tank Davis. Keep believing it, man. Keep hope alive. <laughs> anyway. This is the Rebel Life Boxing. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for more good videos. Banging you with that hot shit. Opinions, boxing commentary, and predictions and reactions. So stay tuned for more. I'll catch y'all on the next one.